Revelation chapter 1, verse 11. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. Adrian, who is Alpha and Omega? Yeah. The beginning and the end. Who is that? Jesus Christ. We. The first and the last. Uh -huh. What thou seest, write in a book. So what you see when you turn around, John the Divine or John the Revelator, write in a book. Verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. So he put it in a book so that we can read it. So that we can know what Jesus the Christ looked like. That's Verse right. 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Adrian, what people on earth have woolly hair? Hair is a sheep. Take that hat off. We do, right? We as white as snow. So his hair was white and woolly. What is the image of Christ that we're giving him to have? A white man, right? All right, so we're going to play a game. We're going to see if the image that they give us lines up with the description that's found in the Bible or if he, have, uh, or if he is a different color man. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So, Adrian, if you had on sandals, the top of your feet will be the same color as the rest of your body, right? It might be a little bit lighter because they don't see the sun as much, right? But it's not going to be a completely different color, right? And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Adrian, what color is black? It's a copper color, like a brown, a golden brown, right? Read that line, read what you just read again. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. With anything in a furnace, it burns it, what color is it coming out Black. Black. Christ was a dark black man. That's, That's right. right. Black and beautiful. Right. Just like his forefather Solomon. Just like his forefather David. Christ was a black man according to the scriptures. So, so hey, you know anything about history? Like world history? You familiar with? Okay, so historically, who are the Greeks? What nation of people are the Greeks? Greeks, yeah. Like Alexander. You heard of Alexander the Great? They was white, right? So watch this. Give me first back to me, chapter one, verse one. So this is the Bible. What our people don't understand is when we came over here on slave ships, we couldn't read, we couldn't write, they took the Bible from us. And then after years of oppressing us and not, us not being able to read or write, they reintroduced the Bible to us like the author was bringing it out. It's, uh, it's a version of the Bible called the Slave Bible, right. where it's only certain uh, sections of the Bible that they gave to us. So they can push their understanding of our records, because this Bible is a history book. Right. Like he was just bringing out, all the men in this Bible are men of color, our forefathers. So listen to what the Greeks did when Alexander reigned, and they was uh, and they was the head over the world like the white man is today in America. This is the this is the headquarters of the world. This is the uh, most famous, most powerful nation, America. They set up uh, territories in um, in every nation. They, it out. They'll go to Iraq, Iran. They'll change their laws. Right. They'll bomb them countries they don't agree with they, uh, what the, uh, the um, philosophies that America is pushing, the bills and all that stuff. So when you go into the Maccabees, it's, it's a repeat in America. And that is the first book of the Maccabees. Verse 1. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes. So our people, they, some of our people, they say the Bible ain't real. They say the white man wrote it is not real, but Maccabees just said it happened. It was a war. Well, you, you can look all this information up on Google. Darius the third of the Persian and Mede Empire, they were the ruling empire on the earth. Alexander the Great of Greece, the Grecians came against him and conquered him. You seen the movie 300? That's a storyline of what we read right here. Um, on the first one, the king was named Xerxes. When you go into the book of Esther, he married our foremother. 
All this stuff is recorded in the Bible, but they trying to put on a facade to keep the Bible away from what we live in every day. Bring it out. This is the only true book on the earth. This Bible is the only book of prophecy in the Greek. That's right. That he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. So King uh, Alexander the Great, he was the first king of the Greeks. He was the first man to uh, unite all the Greek city-states. Jump down to verse 9. Verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. And when he died, his kingdom got split under uh, to his four children. Oh, did their son after them. And evils were multiplied in the earth. What did God say about when the white man took over? And evils were multiplied in the earth. God said evils was multiplied in the earth when the white man took over. Right. So the white man couldn't have wrote the Bible. Bring right. it out. Because you think he in the Bible telling you, hey, when I took over the earth, it got evil as hell. No. God is bringing this out. Jump the first thing you know. So what they did to the Bible, our record books historically, read. Verse Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 59. Bring it out. Now the five and twentieth day of the month, they did sacrifice upon the idol altar, which was upon the altar of God. At which time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women. So they started killing our women. They were sacrificing to idols on our altar when we sacrificed to God. They started killing our women, Reese that had caused their children to be circumcised. Because it's a custom for the Israelites on the eighth day, we're supposed to sacrifice the male children because our forefather Abraham made a covenant with God. So we circumcised them on the eighth day. Bring it out. So so they started making it to where we stopped. We couldn't circumcise. They found you circumcised and they'll kill you and your kids. They, that's a scare tactic they used to stop us from keeping the covenant that we have with God. Because they know when we in the midst of sin, God won't deal with us. That's the reason they was able to enslave us. Bring it they out. They come to the shores of Africa or to Portugal or to Spain where we were set up with the Bible and like, hey, they get on slave ships. No. We was in the midst of sin and we went to war and we lost the war with them. Right. That's what happened, Reed. And they hang, and they hang the infants about their necks and rifled their houses. Read that again. And they hanged the infants about their necks. What they hanging us over here in America when we got here? Lynching. They call it lynch. Named it out the Willie Lynch. It's, they still lynch people to this day. So this Bible telling you it's nothing new under the sun. Break it out. In the time of the Greeks, Alexander, Ptolemy, uh, Seleucus, they was doing it. They was hanging us then, and they was hanging us now. It's not new under the sun. Only thing that's going on is in the Bible during the time of the Greeks, we knew we was the Israelites. Right. We knew we was God told the people. Today we think we black. African Americans, uh, Islam, Baptists, all these religions, but God only calling us the Israelites. That's, That's right. right. God calling us his chosen people. Bring out. And slew them that had circumcised them. Come on. Howbeit many in Israel will fully resolve and confirm in themselves not to eat any unclean thing. So our forefathers had it, they made up their mind. I'm not going to break the laws of God. I'm going to continue to keep the commandment. I don't care if they'll come, and that's the mind we got to get back to. Because they set up stuff in this society to keep us in sin, because as long as we're in sin, God will not fight with us. Verse 56, and when they had rent in pieces the books of the law which they found, they burnt them with fire. You heard that, Andrew? Read that again from the top. First Maccabees chapter 1, verse 56. And when they had rent in pieces the books of the law, which they found, they burnt them with fire. So when they found our Bible, we go to war with the Greeks. They broke, they broke into Jerusalem. They started to ransack the city. They hit the temple. They found the Bible. What they started doing to the Bible? They burnt them with fire. They burned the Bible with fire. But today they tell you, God love everybody. It's an all inclusive book. It's for everybody. Bring Christ died for your sins. Bring it out. It's 633 laws in the Bible. 630, 633, I think. Around that, including the sacrificial laws. But in America, it's 30,000 laws. So don't let that number. The, the 10, it's just, it's just a way to condense it. It was condensed in the 10. And in the New Testament, Christ condensed the 10 to 2. He said, all the laws hang on the 2. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Bring it and up. he assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree 
after their families by the house of their fathers. So our pedigree, our bloodline come from the house of the father. The man carry the seed. That's why they wage war against the black man so hard. Bring it out. Exodus chapter one. Bring it out. That's why they wage war against the black man so hard. The women, they'll let them make it. They'll bring them in, take them to college, get them, because the black woman, the most educated person in America. But the black man, they're going to keep the foot on your neck. They're going to want to kill the black man because they know, and the black man is the nation. If they kill all the black men off know, and impregnate all the black women, our race going to be gone. But God ain't going to let that happen. Exodus chapter 1, verse 16. And he said, when you do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew women. So, so Pharaoh, Ramses, the second, he was telling our women when we was back in Egypt, when y'all do the office of a midwife to deliver the baby, please. And see them upon the stool. If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. He said if it be a what? If it be a son, then ye shall kill him. That's how we know this Bible not an all-inclusive book. Because the Pharaoh in Egypt, just like the white man today, with abortion, he said, if you see the Israelite woman having a son, Kill the boy to kill a bloodline, read. But if it be a daughter, but if it be a woman, read, then she shall live. She can live. Because if, if it's all Israelite women and we impregnate their women, they're going to be carrying our seed. They're going to be carrying our nation. So the bloodline comes from the man. That's right. So you can't take the bloodline, but we're supposed to only bury inside our nation. You understand that, Adrian? Hey, used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes Gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.